Welcome to the VMware Integrated OpenStack product demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create networks using VMware Integrated OpenStack. Before we begin, we look at the existing networks from the VMware Horizon UI. We will first create the provider network that all tenants will use for external communication. Only a user with admin access can create this network. We begin the demo at the vSphere web client to note the vSphere identifier of the port group that will be used for external access. In this demo environment, we use the Management Floating IP port group. We copy its ID, DV port group 41. We launch our OpenStack command line interface to create our provider network. We first list our existing networks. Notice that the network Inner Edge Net is listed. We run the Neutron Net Create command line and name it External Network, XNet, and associate it with the vSphere port group value. We also define the subnet range that will be used by our provider network. Back in the OpenStack Horizon dashboard, we see that the provider network is created. Our tenants will now be able to connect their private networks to XNet via a router to access the outside world. Let us log in as a tenant user to see how to accomplish this. We need to first verify that the provider network is created and available. We then begin creating our tenant network. Next, we create a subnet associated with the new network by filling in the network address details. Note that it has to be in CIDR format. We then specify additional network service details like DHCP and DNS and click Create. This may take a few minutes. In the dashboard, we see that our network is created, but it is still not connected to the external network. To connect to the external network, we need a router. Creating the router is a simple task. We go to Routers in the Project menu and click Create Router. We set the gateway of the router to be on the external network. We also add a router interface to the tenant network. You can connect a specified subnet to the router. The default IP address of the interface is a gateway of the selected subnet. We will now see how to carry out the same steps from the command line. It is as simple as repeating a few of the previous steps. We use the Neutron client to create a network. Next, we specify the subnet range of addresses. Our new network will need to be connected to the provider network using a router. We could use the existing router, but we will create a new one in our demonstration. We need to set an external gateway on the router to connect it to the provider network. Note that we use the router and the XNet network UUIDs for this step. We also create a router interface on our tenant network, and the router and demo subnet 2 UUIDs are used here as well. Our network is now created successfully and we can see the network topology in the OpenStack Horizon dashboard. This concludes the VMware Integrated OpenStack product demonstration. Thank you.